You don't know who's inside. They are watching. What's going on? Shh! You... What the hell are you doing here? I just got up, mate. That firecracker. Good to see you. Likewise. Put it there, son. Well, come on. Are you pleased to see me? Thought I could smell bacon. What's going on? Sit down here. Won't be a minute. What's all this in aid of, Danny? Because if you're after summer, answer's no. Can't I cut your breakfast without being after summer? Well, seeing as this is a first, no. I just thought you needed a bit of TLC, that's all. And guess what else I'm going to do today? Go on, surprise me. Get a job. Get a job? Danny, what's behind all this? Because I wasn't born yesterday, you know. Nothing, I've told you. Look, Artisha might have let you down, but not me. I'm going to look after you, ma'am. Is that so? This is a new start for us. You and me on our own. I'm going to make you proud of me, ma'am. So, that starts with me to go along. How's about a drink after work? My treat. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice. Good. I love you, ma'am. I know you do, sweetheart. Does nobody else do the washing up round here? We'll leave it. I'll do it later. Or better still, get Laughing Boy to do it. Somebody mentioned my name. It's like living with a pair of animals living with you two. Lighten up, Chloe. I will do when you two start pulling your weight. I know what she could do with. What's that? Well, it's obvious, mate. A night out. Well, hang on a minute. Why don't we make up a foursome? A foursome? Yeah, yeah. Sid and Cheryl, me and you. How about tomorrow night? Great idea. Nice one. I'll take you the bathroom, it's free. All yours, mate. Look, it wasn't my idea. Uh, what's that bloke doing upstairs? Hmm? Oh, uh, our Sam's just, uh, well, he's just showing him round. <laughs> what for? Oh, don't ask. How are you feeling this morning, love? Uh. You know. Thanks for last night. Oh, it's all right. Oh, they're clumping about like a herd of elephants up there. <laughs> Our Belle will definitely be awake now. Oh, you wouldn't look after her for me now, would you? Yeah, no bother. Oh, thanks, love. Right, when he gets downstairs, you have got to tell him that he cannot stop. All right? Champion. What a beautiful home you've got, Lisa. Thanks for guided to her. Oh, Any time. So, uh, what time do you get here? After midnight. But, see, all your lights are off and I didn't want to disturb you. But I reckon there was a touch of providence, me bumping into you the other day. Saved my bacon, you have. Big mistake blowing up that allotment. Rumour has it there are traces of marijuana in four separate counties. Really? Mm. But then they don't call me firecracker for nothing. Yeah, tell him. Oh, uh, yeah, look. Uh... About you stopping? Oh, I just have to lay low for a couple of days, but after that... No, the, the thing is, uh, we haven't got room. Sorry. Eh? No room? But I thought you said that if I was... my room. I, I, I'll sleep where I can. No way. I'm not sleeping with him. Well, share with Letitia, then. After all, she's supposed to be your girlfriend. Well, I'd rather share with you than share with her and that kid who does me head in. All right. That's sorted, then. I, I'll move my stuff in later. Thank you, Sam. You're a gent. I thought I might plant some more flowers in the yard today. That's the spirit. No point in letting you know who get one over on us. Get one over? Oh, <laughs> nice, Gloria. We're talking Zach Dingle here, not Geoffrey Archer. As if I'm going to pay him to tidy up his own land. Pointless talking to him, really. Bunch of animals, the lot of them. I was thinking about those barrels I picked up. Oh, yes. Hmm. I thought perhaps we might get them hand-painted. You know, uh, really go for it. Good idea. Do you want me to organise it? Would you? I thought maybe Mediterranean feel, faded blues, purples. Oh, yes. There's a woman I know in Hotton, very hippie. She'd be perfect. Oh, very good. 
You never know, if we jazz up the outside of the factory enough, visiting clients might not notice the utter squalor on our doorstep. No, I'll just, uh... No, I'll just feed the pigs. It was a grand breakfast, fit for a king. Hey, you've got a big appetite. I'm a big bloke. Thanks for letting me stay, Lisa. I know it's not convenient, but it's much appreciated, honest. Yeah, well, I'd best be getting off to work. You've not changed a bit, you know. Sorry. Bridlington, 1972, Empire Ballroom. Status quo, wasn't it? You were wearing purple velvet loons with stars down one leg, a white gypsy top and no makeup. <laughs> Pretty as a picture you were. So you do remember, then? Remember? How could I forget? Well, why didn't you say? Oh, and get up Zach's nose. It's not my style. Oh, Zach, I mean, he knows. Well, he knows I know you. Yeah. I thought you didn't recognise me. Oh, I recognised you. My heart stopped beating for a second. Thought words would never come out. Daft, really. So long ago. Oh, I'll get my stuff in, then. And thanks again. Couple of coats to go and you got a minute. I want a word with you. <sighs> what have I done now? No way can we go out on a foursome. No way. I don't see the big deal, myself. No, well, you wouldn't. I'm going to have to make something up. No, no. We can't off, so what? Excuse me, I've got a boyfriend. Or have you conveniently forgotten that? So I'm not going to tell, am I? Do you know, I regret ever clapping eyes on you. You weren't saying that the other evening, were you? Hiya. What are you doing here? Oh, trying to seduce your girlfriend, mate, but... Wow, she's a tough nut to crack. <laughs> See ya. He's a crazy guy here, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I thought you'd be impressed. There's enough explosives here to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Not that that's what I want to do. You know what happened to the last bloke that tried that? No, what? So let's then. <laughs> explosives. Ex explosives! Keep your hair on. Keep me hair on. Bell's upstairs. Look, I want this outside now. You can't muck about with this stuff, you know. I'll fire. I'm only showing the lad. Yeah, well, show him outside. What's all the showing about? What's this for? Put it down! <laughs> Come on, you wimp. Let's uh, shift this stuff outside. Oh. Thank you! <sighs> you all right? Hmm? So, this Wally bloke was your boyfriend? Oh, no! No, I was just a bit sweet on him, that's all. Me and my mate, Irene Gomez, we used to follow him about everywhere. <laughs> he had a posse of girls after him. And how long's he staying for? Oh, no idea. I wouldn't mind normally, but it's just we've got a house that's full to bursting as it is. Oh, hey, that wasn't a dig at you, love. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. But by rights, you should be at your mum, shouldn't you? Yeah, well, there's not much chance of that happening, is there? Not after what happened. Look, she's in this afternoon, isn't she? Oh, don't remind me, I'm dreading it. This isn't going to go away, you know. Why don't you talk to her? Tell her how sorry you are. Tea break over, ladies. All right. <laughs> You've got to try and put this right. Oh. Well, I don't know, love, it's up to you. But you really can't leave it. What was that? I dread to think. What was that? Uh, what? That? Some kind of explosion? Well, I didn't hear that, did you, Letitia? No. I've an awful feeling that will wall it. Wow! C can you teach me how to do that? I'll do more than that. You can be my apprentice. Really? I'll just do exactly what I did. Uh, careful, son. I know you're blowing your hand off. The lad's safe with me. Go on. That's what you said to Chris Dagnum just before he lost three fingers. What on earth is going on? I don't believe it. What have you done to my barrels? 
Like your battles? I didn't see a name on them. This is outrageous. Ready? Oh, good lad. Now stand back. Stand back? Why should I stand back? Just stand back, will you? I will not stand back. Well, on your head be it. There it goes again. What do you think it is? I don't know, love, but I've still got an hour when I get home. Is there some demolition work going on around here? Uh, not that I know of, no. Or probably just a car backfiring. What's... what's that smell? Sulphur? Uh, I'm going to see what's going on. <laughs> oh dear, what's happened? What's happened is that I made the unfortunate error of thinking that I could talk to a dingle. Oh, I see. They should be locked up. Barbarians is every last one of them. Hey, you want to be careful what you're saying. I could have you done for slander. Slander? I could have lost an eye. W what have they done? Do you remember those barrels you were going to have hand-painted? Faded blues, purples, a dim memory now, thanks for those idiots. This man here was one of the best bare knuckle fighters of his time. Do you know that? I remember the night when you fought the Robblesfield Roughneck. 1986, wasn't it? Correct. And you felled him in the fourth, as I remember? Yeah. So how come you two never fought each other then? <laughs> never happened. How come? Well, let's just say we got in a bit of a dispute. With some bookies. Come to think of it, we did end up having a fight. Uh, all in all with each other. That's really bad. Bet your mum hates her now. I certainly do. She's just a waste of space after all she's put my mum through. Well, that's it now. Things are going to be different from now on. How do you mean? It's up to me. I am the head of the family. <laughs> you? Yeah. Cooked her breakfast this morning. So? And the washing up. Oh, now, that I am impressed with. All we've got to do now is get a job. Yeah, Danny, the problem ain't getting a job, it's keeping it. Yeah. I've got to knuckle down, Anna. Which reminds me, I better go off to the job centre. I'll see you later, cos I'll meet my mum in there after work. OK, nice one. Danny, good luck. Right, who's getting him in? Well, I'm in the chair. Go on, then, what are you having? A skin full, I hope. <laughs> Hiya, I've just put a kettle on. Do you fancy a brew? Yeah, thanks. Oh. Right, well, I'm just stuffed up, lovely. Go on, Mum. Yeah, go on. Um, I'm really sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. So why did you do it, then? I don't know. But I've been thinking, and I'm going to go to the police and tell them it were me. I'll explain about what happened, how I left you with Kirk. I'll make it all right, I, I promise. I can go now if you want. Oh, Mum, I'll do anything. Please don't blank me. And what about Kirk? What about Kirk? If you've got a criminal record, how are you going to feel when you've got to tell him? I'll think about that when I come to it. Yeah, well, that just about sums you up. You don't think ahead. You don't think of the consequences of your actions. So, uh, I hear that you, you knew Lisa before. Did I? But you were a nipper. Uh, well, 15. Oh, yeah, I'd almost forgot. A long time ago, that one. Uh, she was quite sweet on you, by all accounts. Weren't they all, mate? Nothing like youth. So, uh, well, you don't really remember her, then? Well, I have a vague memory. Sweet looking lass. Now yeah, she still is. Hmm, no doubt about that. Good-looking woman. Huh. So, have, uh, have you never thought of, uh, well, taking the plunge? <laughs> Getting married? Oh, that? Well, I've had my moments like, but always came to his senses in the end. Well, me and Lisa have been married quite a while now. But mind you, she won't be first. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. Didn't Mary Crowther have that on her? Hmm? No, I mean, Lisa wasn't my first wife. Actually, it wasn't Mary Crowther. It was Bertha. Do you remember her? Huh? She was a widow. <laughs> Very grateful, as I recall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So, uh, you never took Garlisha out then? No. Like you say, she's only 15. I said I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. As sorry as when you nicked them credit cards. I'm getting sick of your apologies. You didn't have to cover up for me. I didn't do it for you. I did it for our Kirk. I never meant for any of this to happen, you know. Yeah, you never do. Don't you understand? I can't trust you anymore, Letitia. Where are you going? Like I said. The police, I'm going to tell them it were me. Don't be daft. I mean, it's too late now. No, it isn't. Look, you'll just make things worse. How could I make things worse, ma'am? You hate me! Of course, I don't hate you. You're my daughter. Come here. I'm so sorry, ma'am, honest I am. Yeah, I know you are. Right, I'll just water me off and we can get going, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Him and Lisa knew each other when they were younger. Oh, I. I thought I was giving her a quick once over this morning. No chap. Says who? Him? Leave it out. She's only 15. Nearly 16. Hey? Well, that's what he told me this morning. He said she hadn't changed a bit. Well, not, not on the inside anyway. He said she's still clothed. All set then? Hi. Come on, come on. And if there's any more shenanigans involving my property, I will hold you personally responsible. Do you hear me? I'll have a word. Good. You better. Because if there is a next time, I will get the police onto them. And that is a promise. Come on, Gloria. We were going to have those barrels hand painted. Sorry. Just a couple of old barrels. I know, tight-fisted old git. Right, I'll be off then. See ya. See you, Mum. Uh, I'm going to meet our Danny at Woolly. Do you fancy joining us? I don't know. I think it's a good idea, do you? Well, you're going to have to face him sometime. Go on, I'll look after Kurt for you. Are you sure? Of course I am. I mean, you'll probably get a mouthful, but uh, I'll stick up for you. Come on, let's get it over and done with. Your mum's right. Right, well, just go and get changed. Well, hurry up. <laughs> Now nah, then, love. Back to Wally then, is it, eh? Oh, don't remind me. How oh, come? Cool. Well, apparently, he did recognise me. Oh, yeah, huh? He said his heart stopped beating for a second. Oh, you're joking. Well, that's good, isn't it? Oh, well, it would have been good 30 years ago, but I'm married now, aren't I, to Zach? I don't have fancy him, though. Well, in that case, enjoy it. Enjoy it? I'm not bothered all the time. Oh, don't worry about that. It's probably menopause. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. See you, kid. <laughs> See you. <ya. laughs> hey, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> that one of the most difficult to know. You always look down the... There's nothing on again. Right. I might go the woolly. Anybody fancy it? Nah. Oh, I'm knackered, actually. Look, um, before I forget, about tomorrow, I can't make it. Why? It's charity. She's um, going through a bit of a bad time. She just needs a bit of company, that's all. Oh, what's wrong with her? Nothing. It's just girly stuff. You know what she's like. Oh, Chloe, it's great. It's, it's all organised now. But you can still come, mate. Hmm. Yeah, I think I still might, yeah. You don't mind, do you? You never know. We might pick up a couple of birds. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be taking Cheryl out. So? I will come out with you, but I am definitely not on the pool. This girl is all I need. A hospital porter? Can't see you doing that. It's either do that or be a security guard. There's nothing all about at the moment. Mum's here. Guess who's with her? Hiya. Yeah. So what we have in? What's she doing here? Well, she's, uh, let's get drinks in first, eh? Buy her one. Well, I'll buy the drinks, Danny. It's supposed to be me and you on our own. She's hardly a stranger, is she? I thought we'd done with her. It's supposed to be a new start for me and you, remember? Danny, one cooked breakfast doesn't make you man at month. We're a family, and families stick together. And uh, seeing as I'm the one that brings in the money round here, I get to say what's what. Uh, which reminds me, how did job hunting go? Danny's going to be a hospital porter. <laughs> 
Can you what? I can't imagine wanting to see your face if I'm rushed into emergency. <laughs> Danny, Danny, you can't stand sight of blood. I won't be operating on them, will I? <laughs> look, let's just get drinks in, eh? And look, you two make up. Otherwise, I'm going to bang your heads together. Come here. <laughs> right, I'll get this lot shifted. I'll give you a hand. Oh, you're right. I want to. Took us a paper, Dad. Let's see what's on the box. Huh? I've got this lot done in no time. You don't have to do this, you know. Oh, no. You wash, I'll dry. Just off to it, Carsey. I feel 19 again standing here like this with you. Yeah, well, I'm certainly not 15. I always had a bit of a thing about you, you know. Oh, go on. You have loads of girlfriends. Yeah, one that mattered. Why do you think I'm still on my own? I didn't know you fancied me. I had to behave myself, didn't I? You're only a bit of a kid. What an incredibly beautiful woman you turned out to be. Oh, give over. I know you're having me on now. Hand on heart. I'm not. I always regretted not... I won't say it. Oh, go on. All right. Hey, yeah, champion. I always regretted not taking you out. Getting to know you properly. You're special, Lisa. And I think I knew that from the first moment I clapped eyes on you. You looked at me across a smoky room more years ago than I care to remember. And I've not forgotten that. Never. Well, didn't that tell you something? I've not forgotten either. <laughs> <laughs>